Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caleb. Um, I do want to preface my video saying that, you know, although I may be giving a bit more, I guess, comments that may veer on seemingly offensive or say uh, a bit rude, but I, I just want it to be an honest conversation. Um, I don't want to keep things so PC or politically correct, which was what I used to do, which was, you know, more of like, oh yeah, it's nice. Oh, um, it may not be my vibe, but you know, whatever. Because generally sometimes, you know, entries, they are not necessarily putting in the best effort. And it may not be the artist. I think most of the times it's not the artist's fault. It's really with everything else that, you know, came into place. And sometimes it may also be the artist that messed up or things like that. So I understand that everybody is a human being. So, you know, um, I'm not faulting that. I'm just saying like, this is a critique and this is a review and by nature of it, opinions have to be said. And sometimes if I, you know, if I'm not feeling right about something, I would try my best, honestly, to justify it. I would not just write it off as, I hate it, I dislike it, and then that's it. You know, I do not want to, you know, create controversy or, you know, I don't just, I, I just want it to be good vibes, but at the same time, you know, if we want to give critique, let, let there be room for critique as well. So feel free also to let me know in the comments what you think of um, my thoughts or what do you think of these entries I'm talking about um, I don't I didn't really receive much comments for my uh, Ireland video which is fine I, I I'm I'm okay with or without but I do want to leave, leave it open for anyone who wants to and I appreciate for some um, who have uh, you know voiced out their views for the Israel video so um, do keep it coming. I am watching and I'm reading. With that said, let's get into this video, which is about Malta's entry. And as I would do with these videos, I would be looking at the 2021 entry and then the coming entry, uh, which is my first fresh look at it. So I have not heard a single thing about it, really chose to stay away from it. The last year's entry was Destiny um, with Jemikas. I guess that's the name. I, I hope I didn't get it wrong. So she, as the entry, she was chosen um, through as how they did it in the previous time with, you know, even I was mentioning Michaela with um, Chameleon, you know, in, was it 20, I can't remember which year, but yeah. So they kind of do it with X Factor Malta where uh, whoever is a winner would get chosen to perform uh, to represent Malta and in this case also Destiny was uh, the winner of the Junior Eurovision so um, in 2015 so it was quite fitting you know she won the X Factor Malta that year and uh, the song was given to her all of uh, my love in 2020 and then 2021 because of the delays of the COVID and all that so she took on the place again I remember when I heard the song I was like, yes, this is the right. I guess it's it's it goes down the same path as Chameleon in the sense that it's it is upbeat, catchy, and she does have the vocal chops and she has that that sassiness that translates very well on screen. Even in a music video, I like that it was very high budgeted. The issue I had with uh, Chameleon, the music video was you know it really felt like a lyric video more than an actual music video, and I feel like that plays a lot into what people expect for the real stage and what you know, uh, I guess, like it the promotion of the song in general. So I feel like right from the get go, Destiny was you know destined for big success, and indeed she was because you know she she competed, she was seventh place in the finals and I think that's a really big achievement you know and I'm excited to see uh, what they have this year but before that of course let's get into um, watching the video and let me give my final thoughts on Malta's uh, destiny yeah I I wasn't very keen on what the outfit here was mainly because there were quite a few singers already doing a white uh, silver 
platinum outfit against red background with uh, namely Cypress Albania. I just can't remember. Is there one more? I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I think uh, one already that was a, a bit of an issue for me. I felt like it's a bit repetitive. It's not really original and um, not like I'm okay. In fact, you know, people can wear whatever they want. But I felt, you know, what was more flattering uh, in the sense of like, you know, it accentuated her figure. Um, she looked, I guess it, it fit more of what this, this, the vibe of the, the energy of the track more was the black outfit that was seen in the music video. And, uh, you know, the rainfall, the, is it the waterfall? Um, fountains, stuff at the back. I think that look in itself could have, like, you know, if it was on the stage, I think it would have really stood out, you know. Um, and she chose to do dancing for the performance. I think it's okay. I think it's great. Like, you know, dance and sing, all that. Um, and, but, you know, the tendency, the worry is that, you know, can she keep on the beat and keep on the notes? And she did. She did. She has that sass that's so natural to her. They really got the right person to do this kind of pop song. I'm not sure whether many people pointed it out. It felt like this, you know, the whole beams with the dancers and also with that neon uh, background, it felt like uh, almost like Ariana Grande's side to side. Uh, at least to me, now looking back, I feel like, yeah, it kind of has that same kind of vibe, but only it's a bit of a cheaper staging here. No offense to her. It's just, you know, it felt a little, I guess, I don't know. Like, it's not very original, the, the staging. Like, it could have been, like I said, the whole waterfall, uh, the whole black outfit. I was so for that, honestly. I, I think that would be a big change. And I would say, you know, because people would expect that with this kind of song, you're going to dance. But if she just went with that and didn't dance, she just laid vocals on the stage, that would have been something too. Um, but yeah, I mean, what has happened has happened. It's just my opinions. And I, yeah, I like this. Her facial expressions. She knows how to do it right. One issue I had with... Um, Michaela's entry with Chameleon uh, back before that was that, you know, they gave her some dance moves that like it wasn't s suited for her. It wasn't tailored to, you know, to be able to be man manageable for her. Um, she was a bit of out of breath, um, couldn't dance, like wasn't really, let's say, dancer. Like she, she couldn't do the, uh, execute the dance moves well like it didn't translate on screen very well um in this case i like that it focused a lot on the hands or like certain parts of the body movement so it looks energetic but at the same time it does not tire her destiny out or and also it it you know accentuates that sassiness of the song without her having to do a full choreography so i think that was good on Malta's part her raspiness in the vocals perfect song to, to, to give her she's taking the stage as if like you know this is her own concert you know and she's the main act that's exactly the kind of quality you want to see in new version performers especially when it comes to pop songs i like this silhouette they had on the dancers at this part like you know because sometimes you're worried that the aesthetic that you that the you know whatever is going for for the performance gets boring halfway so uh, especially in the bridge it's typically the part where a lot of the set designers uh, as far as i can tell uh, take opportunity to kind of switch it up and perfectly so in this one where they have a bit of like confetti um, thrown at the back in the digital um, video and uh, they have this silhouette which i think fits the vibe perfectly and when i remember she was like uh, sixth in the running order and that was already hard enough Excuse my friend. yes this with the whole pyrotechnics coming down that is the right move for whatever they were running with for this song 
this look was right. I enjoyed her energy on the stage. I enjoyed the vocals. I enjoyed the way it was pieced together. Of course, like I said, I rather the vision had gone a different way, but like, you know, make it unpredictable. But this in itself or what it did, I think it fit very well um, with the song also. Um, and, you know, in spite of the odds of having to be <laughs> six in the running order on the grand finals, um, she made it to seven phase. So that is in itself a big achievement. And I hope to see the same, uh, if not even better from Malta this year. Uh, hopefully they could either keep with the same standards of the song um, or they could switch up something else. It can be so as well. Um, let's see how the song fares. So the 2022 entry all right, is uh, a song called Out of Sight, performed by Emma Muscat. This time round for the 2022 entry, they actually held uh, finals, like a Malta Eurovision Song Contest competition uh, internally, where their artists, composers, something entries last year through voting. Um, there was a jury and there was also televote and uh, Emma uh, arose the winner. Uh, so it's interesting that, you know, this time round, it's not an internal like broadcaster decision. It's more public centric. I like the step that they are taking where it kind of includes the nation's perspective because it gets them also uh, feeling nationalistic and feeling proud of the song that represents the country as well. Never heard of her. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm from Asia, so what do I know? The songwriters are different from what I can tell. Emma Muscat even wrote the song. So kudos to her. She has that talent and, you know, that is commendable and uh, respectable. For Malta's uh, entry, she'll be performing in the first half of the second semi-finals. So all the best to her and let's check out their song. So this this is gonna be a performance of the song at the MESC, I'm assuming standing, up, standing for Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2022 Finals. And of course, I'm gonna take into account that, you know, probably she, this is, uh, you know, she she's had to perform something before this final. So she might be a little bit breathless, okay? So I would take into account of that because people were flaming me. I mean, someone was flaming me for, or at least uh, pointing out that uh, Brooke for Ireland's entry was, uh, you know, a bit tired out. So hence why her vocals was a bit off. But okay, you know, let's treat it with a little bit of context and let's get into it. I wonder if it's going to be a dance track though. Oh, ballad. Oh, it's it's getting into more of an emotional territory. Oh, her vocals, her tone. Okay, I'm guessing the girl behind is supposed to like symbolize her as like she telling to her young self or something. Okay, okay, I'm getting the message. Um. Going the emotional route this time, I see. Ooh, the vibrato. Ooh, soaring vocals. Woo. So this, I already heard the first part of the song up to the chorus. First impressions is that I like the verse more than the chorus, being that because the verse has a bit more rhythm. To it like it it changes the rhythm a few times and it yeah it captures my attention more good starting it like a good you know ease into something new for me but the, i felt like the chorus kind of went a bit too structural you know the lyrics went that way. So I feel like mm, the, 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 the emotions are heavy. The lyrics are definitely giving me something deep, but um, musically, 
I feel like the chorus is letting it down a little bit, a little bit. But she's going in with the delivery. It's just the composition. I feel could could do a little more. Okay, I like the change of beat where they introduce drums. I think it would be great if she had some dancers coming in at this time. Like, since she's also going to get it up and dance, and she seems to have some choreography planned. So, um, who knows? Maybe for the actual stage, she might have that. But this outfit, killing it. I think this outfit serves its purpose. Um, it's, it accentuates her figure. It definitely gives that sense of lightweightedness, um, purity, um, I guess elegance is the word. Um, or I guess say if you want to go a bit more on the deep end where, you know, it's a bit more bare skin, you know. And that's exactly what the song is. So, good styling choices. She reminds me of Stefania though. Like her figure. And her singing also, a little bit, a little bit. Back to what I was saying about the chorus, it's da 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 na 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 it's I guess it's what my word the word I'm finding is is the word predictable. It's it just is predictable. So that's why I don't feel like I resonate with it that much as compared to the verses. The verses I love. The chorus could have something a bit more a bit more rhythm rhythmic i mm, like or at least maybe i'm not sure how to put it but something that could change it up a little bit instead of just sticking with what the underlying chords are uh, it seems a bit bare bones to me her breath control is insane though it's great whoa okay nice nice transition there Took me for a spin there a bit, uh, and I and I like that. Um, indeed, it's about at least from what I'm guessing, it's about her younger self, and it's about her um, finding her way, navigating through the world, and you know, um, yeah. So I think that's a good message um, in general, uh, and I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if she if she's gonna bring out the girl for the actual stage. Um, she could do something similar, I guess. Uh, I think sticking with something like this is good. Um, on hindsight, I guess with this, with the girl coming out here, I guess it's fine without the dancers. <laughs> I'm hmm, not sure. Could do a, could do with or without, I guess. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if there's going to be a music video coming out for this because it seems like the whatever was shown in the background seems like part of an actual music video not sure but yeah i'm i will be keeping my eyes out this is definitely not like a bad song might take me a while to get like into the song honestly because i'm not like in terms of ballads what kind of takes me off a little bit is the chorus being not so say rhythmic so hence my apprehension on that but it's not a bad track i think it's a solid track um i hope that you know with her performance on the semi-final she's gonna get into the grand final she's also gonna win big for our country and uh, yeah, see let's see how it fares malta surprised us this time around i enjoyed that they you know took the route of getting jury and televotes part, as part of the selection process and that in itself uh, uh, is a good change because then you know we see like we have a, a, a good change of rhythm change of pace uh, for this year's entry and i am definitely excited to see how the performance is going to look like on the stage itself so do let me know in the comments below what do you feel about the song did you agree with what i said or do you feel like um i don't know what whatever comments whatever viewpoints you have the, of this song um do let me know in the comments below if you're from malta hi i'm from singapore and i 
hope to chat with you in the comments if possible. Um, yeah, I hope to do more videos in the times, in the days to come, in the lead up to Eurovision. So I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Bye.